welcome to another Duke Family Chronicles dining experience. We are about ready to partake in the lunch at Steakhouse 71, the old wave. So come along with us and enjoy some new food. So you know why they named it Steakhouse 71? What happened in 1971? What happened in 1971? Disney World Magic Kingdom opened up. We're the 50th anniversary. But you know what else also happened in 1971? No. Miami Dolphins wins the first Super Bowl. Oh my God. And the lobby is refurbished here at Contemporary. How cool is that? Got a lot of Mary Blair stuff going on. Actually, I think most of the lobby is Mary Blair. Good portion of it, put it that way. So I think everybody knows exactly what they're going to get here uh, at Steakhouse 71. I'm still on the fence between the Steakhouse 71 steak burger, I think it's called, and the ribeye burger. So you know what you're going to get, right? Yep. And here with the way it used to be, Steakhouse 71. All right, so our appetizer is here. We are going to try the sea salt dusted potato brioche. All right, so my first reaction, I'm going to try mine with butter, okay? And they destroyed the 71 or the L if you turn it backwards, by the way. Illinois. Thank you. Mm. Butter, delicious. Wow, what's this stuff? All right, tell me what you think about the bread service here at Breezy Girl. I thought it was good. Um, I definitely rather the butter than uh, the tomato. Yeah, so, let, so let me show you. So basically, when the garlic tomato comes out, it comes out. And I'm not gonna get that. Let's go it this way. So when it comes out, the tomato paste is pretty much on top, and then as you, if you don't swirl it around, you end up with garlic down below. So. That's kind of what they're reacting to. So I thought it was good even with the garlic uh, in there. So, Keegs, what do you think? I think the butter was better. I have to agree with Brielle. The top layer of it was good, but the bottom wasn't. No, not so good. All right, and Mama? I didn't get a taste of the top layer before it was all gone, and I did not care for the bottom layer, but the butter and the bread itself, super delicious. So. To be clear, this wasn't bread service. This is a, really an, a bread appetizer that you can pay for, um, you know, with your meal. So it's not bread service. It doesn't, you have to pay for it. So just wanted to be clear. Right, Reese, what did you get? So I got the Southbury steak, which looks delish. I don't know what this is, but I tasted it. Looks like onions? Good. Yeah, it looks like fried onions or something, but it All tastes right. really weird. And I don't know we'll I check like in it. with you All later and right. see what you, what you think. Keegs? You got a gourmet grilled cheese. Wow. Is that fancy or is that fancy? It's got two different kinds of cheese on it and pork belly. So I'm curious how he likes wow. it. Now, Mama, you got something special just here at Contemporary. You got... I got the steak frites. The steak frites. 
Smell-O-Vision. I wish now, you could smell it. What did he say was the sauce? So this is the garlic aioli, and he said it's meant to go with the steak, but most people eat it with the fries. All right, so I, so I said what Mama got was something special, but you know what? In real life land, she got steak and fries. But here at Contemporary, it's steak frites, so. Now, I got just the, uh, I, got, I guess I got technically, if she got steak frites, I got the Steakhouse 71 frites burger because I got fries and then I got the, I guess our server said the best burger on Disney property. If you're gonna say the best burger on Disney property, you're talking about the bison burger too, included that. You don't get to pick your choice, so we're gonna have to compare this to the bison burger. Here we go. I should add that also these are homemade pickles. Now I'm loving pickles. I love me pickles. So let's see. I didn't ask me how I wanted the steak, so I'm assuming it's like a, I don't know, medium, I don't know, almost where, I don't know, medium well, I'm not sure. So let's see, first impression. Wow. That's a good burger. <laughs> wow. I, 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 mean, I, I mean, I don't know. I love me bison burger, but that's good. And I can taste those pickles. I'm, I'm thinking that's a winner here. Wow, I'm impressed. I want to check in with you because you're killing that steak, man. Good? Liking it? How's the potatoes? Potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are really good. Yeah, you're killing it. I still don't know what this is, but it tastes kind of good. They're onions. Now, Mama. You're liking your frites. I'm, no, I'm, I'm in love with my dish. You're in and love. I want it again. Yes. Okay. Wow. Do I, do I need to be concerned? Uh, no, just from a food standpoint. It's really, really, Is really it medium? Good. He asked you how you wanted it. Yeah. Medium well? It's perfect. Perfect. And I will say the burger is not that large, but man, it is good stuff, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, so for dessert, we got the Ambrosia coconut chiffon cake, mandarin curd, and compressed pineapple. Oh, as the shade goes over the... How about that? All right, bon appetit, Ambrosia. That's good stuff. So if you ever have Watergate salad, which I don't really care for a lot sometimes, but if you've ever had that, this is like a hardened Watergate salad with a cake underneath. It's delish, I'm telling you. It is delicious. Some really cool art here at the back of the Steakhouse 71. Here's the building of, uh, look at that, contemporary. Look how close Speedway was. Look, it almost looks like it's on top of it, doesn't it? Huh? Is this Mary Blair? I'm making stuff up now. Making stuff up. <laughs> ever seen this picture so look at that, that so cool to see that? look you can even see the monorail is not even halfway done look at that not even done not like half so a quarter is it all right so thank you for joining us on our first ever lunch at steakhouse 71 i thoroughly enjoy the burger awesome i would agree with the server probably the best burger well, I don't need a lot of burgers at Walt Disney World, but it's good.
How did you like your, you love yours? Oh, I love mine. I, I'm ready to go back. I want to look for another reservation. It was great. Even the dessert, which was a surprise. It wasn't what we Ambrosia? thought we were going to order. Yes. And the bread was amazing. Good. I think the only disappointment that we had was Keegan's grilled cheese. Yeah, wasn't he quite wasn't, what he wanted. He wasn't was. a fan. Yeah. Um, service was really long, so we were at the very end of the lunch service. I think we had one of the probably the one of the last reservations, yeah. and the meal took a very very long time. So, so I just don't plan on that because it's still newly newly opened. Yeah, don't look at it as a fast. Not gonna service. be quick. Yeah, and and I think I I just wish they would have done a little bit better job of putting some of that. Uh, old black and white sort of well, I don't care what color uh, this, the old Disney stuff the, love, uh, that they have walled the I think it was great okay. all right dude how you didn't like your cheese or cheese grilled cheese someone says cheeseburger it, it was just weird I didn't, yeah I, didn't it, like it. I, I think it was the pork belly it was the pork belly in it and it kind of gave it a uh, it was a different taste yeah, yeah. that's why hence gourmet grilled cheese mom's steak yeah that was good and the sauce that she had with it how do you like the Salisbury steak and and you, did you like the uh, ambrosia? Uh, yeah, I like that type of thing. Yeah, the, it was um, different. It was good. Yeah. But All right. we almost made a mistake picking the uh, apple what, what? tart. Yeah, apple tart. tart. Yeah. So it wasn't very suggestion. All right, Breezy, how did you like that Salisbury steak that you I ate almost the entire plate? I thought it was good. Um, I would definitely want to try something else, though. Um, it's just the onions weren't. Yeah. But you liked it, though. And, it and, what, and what did you think about the ambrosia? I didn't get to taste. I didn't get to taste much of it, um, but I thought it was good. Okay. So overall, I think that was a hit. Kind of expensive for kids. I'm just going to say that. So, Keegs, take us out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Bye. Bye. Onward to our next adventure.